Raise your hand if you're like me and you have never diagrammed a sentence in your entire life until you started homeschooling. Anyone? Anyone? So let's talk about all things grammar. It always was a subject that was difficult for me. And I came from a very linguistic background where um, my sister was constantly reading books in different languages and my mother and father encouraged it. And I read a lot. The problem was I couldn't have told you what a pronoun is or what a direct or indirect object was. Those just weren't things that were taught to me or maybe they were taught to me in school and I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't always the best student, but people change. So here we are homeschooling and I'm thinking, well, you know, grammar is important. I need to figure out grammar. And then as I was looking at um, the grammar curriculum, I started asking myself, but I don't know grammar very well and I did okay. So why is it important? Well, let's talk about that. One of the first things I did was I picked up books because if I don't know the answer to something or if I never used it and I got along just fine, then why do I need to teach my kid? And maybe grammar is, maybe you're rolling your eyes and you're saying, that's ridiculous. Maybe you have another subject that's plaguing you, has plagued you, or you don't think is important. Ask yourself why first and delve in and see what other people are doing. And that's exactly what I did. So I am not your expert in grammar but I am an expert in looking things up. So what I did was the first thing was I picked up some books and the first thing that came to, um, when I was searching that came up in my search was the well-trained mind. And I bet a lot of you, if you haven't already heard of the well-trained mind, you're going to pretty quickly if you're going to become a homeschooler or if you are a homeschooler. Jesse Weiss and Susan Weiss Bauer jointly wrote this book and it's a tome. I lost the dust cover though. I always lose dust covers and by lose, I mean, I throw them away because they're annoying. I wish that they would just paint the cover properly, but alas, this is the spine of the book, the well-trained mind. And there's several editions and I think I might have a later one or an earlier one, but it really hit me when, um, I believe Susan Weiss Bauer is still a professor at um, the College of William and Mary, an exclusive and small university or little college in Virginia. And she complains or laments in her introduction that when she was a professor and she gave her students um, a paper to write on a poem, I think it was The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, um, her students who got into a, an exclusive college had trouble writing the paper and their grammar was awful. So then this got me thinking, um, maybe Morgan does need it. Maybe it would make, I did okay in college writing papers and not really getting along with grammar, but I could have been better. So why not give my daughter the tools that I just never bothered to pay attention to or didn't have. And so I'm not gonna make her do it, but the thing is, it's kind of fun. So once I started reading that book, then I became interested in finding curricula that would fit our needs and, and be helpful for me too, because I am going to learn this along with her. There are many things that I don't have in my head and I certainly have never diagrammed a sentence until a month ago. So I am diagramming sentences along with my daughter and I am going to get a fourth grade education this year for sure. So I started with fix it grammar was the first thing. And you'd think that it would be Actually, um, the well-trained mind has grammar. It wasn't the first thing I picked up because I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of you moms went for fix-it grammar. And so I did too. But if you've seen my math YouTube video, you'll know that, oh, but wait, I don't ever only just pick one, I do pick two. So with that, I picked up, um, I did go with the well-trained mind, the level four first language lessons. It's kind of a tome, but there's a lot of explanation in it and that's okay. And it's great. You can actually read it to your kid. You don't have to come up with it on your own. She has a fantastic script. I mean, it is really, really well done. And so we work through um, three times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we do Well-Trained Mind and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, in the morning, we do uh, Fix-It Grammar. And why do I do both? Because they kind of serve 
two different purposes for me. One is the diagramming here. I am personally interested in diagramming sentences. I think it's really interesting breaking down uh, sentences and what a word is and here and there. I'm more interested because I have languages, I'm more interested in where words come from than where you put them in the sentence because um, I put words in, I put different types of words in, in, in different places in sentences because in French it's different, in Arabic it's different, in English it's different. I've never just thought about it. I just learned it that way. I couldn't tell you why. And now I'm learning why in my own language, which I think is interesting. So we started with fix-it grammar. And here's why we went with two. Fix-it grammar is short. It's just sweet. I have never heard anything anybody say anything other than this is a fantastic program and it is and here's why it is one sentence a day it's something that your kid can do on their own if they need the lesson you can do the you can start with the lesson on monday and then after that after that monday tuesday wednesday thursday is pretty much covering what you just learned and everything before that and so your child starts to build and so this morning I wasn't at the table fast enough and my daughter started her morning routine without me. And by the time I waltzed in with my cup of coffee, she was done. She had already done her fix it grammar. So it covers a couple of things for me. Um, it helps her understand what the parts of the sentence sentence are. And it also is really nice for writing because at the end, not only do you fix the sentence that you're given, you complete it, you fix it, you mark it, um, but then you write it out. And so that helps, I think, with handwriting, it helps with concentration, and it really hones in how to write the sentence properly after you've corrected the top portion. So you're given a sentence problem and a new word, a new vocabulary word that Morgan likes to highlight herself. The uh, she likes to highlight the new vocabulary word. And then you mark it, you mark the sentence, um, and give all of the articles, all of the, you mark them all with verb, pronoun, adjective, all of those things, um, who, which clauses, that clauses. And then once you've completed it here, you've got your little tasks here, the things that you want to look for to correct so you know what is wrong and you find it and you can check it off. So if you're missing something, you can, your kid can ask, hey, I'm having trouble finding this one or I don't understand this concept. And you can quickly jump in there and talk to them about it or show them where they could find it in the book because this really can be a self-study. At, at the fourth grade level, at least for my daughter, it's, it is a, it's a fun self-study for her. And it doesn't frustrate her at all. It's short and sweet. And then right down here, once your sentence is corrected, um, they rewrite it properly down below and it just builds and it's wonderful. The whole thing is a short story and the full short story is in the back of the book in the appendix. Um, and you can read it to your child or your child can read it. We've actually chosen not to read it. We're going to finish the book and then once the book is finished, we'll put all of the sentences together and then read it together, which I think is just fun. But you can start off if the child doesn't know why they're doing it or what the story is about. You can start off by, before you even begin the curriculum, start off by reading that. So we went from there to um, the well-trained mind and the well-trained mind covers grammar just the way um, the nose tree does. This one is the nose tree. There's several le levels, but we took the first one. So fix it grammar um, and the well-trained mind cover grammar, but they do it differently. And the well-trained mind diagrams the sentence where it starts breaking it apart, where you have to not just mark it, but they want to see, let me see if I can find one that Morgan said. They want to see you break the sentence down and diagram it. And it teaches you how to diagram it step by step. And they first start with subject, verb, and everything else after that builds on subject, verb. And when the sentences get longer or more complicated, they add each time they add a little bit more and a little bit more and the diagrams get more and more complicated so that by the end, I don't know if it's going to be by the end of this year, but by the end, um, your children and me will be diagramming sentences in that regard. And I have been practicing this and it is really fun because as a linguist, what I like to do is think about 
what we don't do in other languages that we do here or the, what we don't do in English that we do in other languages. And because I'm teaching French to my daughter, now when she has a question um, in either language, we use the well-trained mind and the nose tree, the fix-it grammar, um, to talk about it in that foreign language. Oh, well, they don't do it this way, they do it this way. So the negation is on um, either side of the verb instead of the front of the verb in English. And M Morgan's mind is totally elastic at this point, and so it's very easy for her to kind of stretch into that, oh yeah, of, of course, oh I understand, of course, which it wouldn't necessarily be that simple for me as an adult now. So that that's the reason why we've chosen two different um, grammar curriculum. And we're gonna stick with that for now. I, I, one takes, it's so short and she just enjoys it. We use fix-it grammar at the very beginning of our um, morning start. So our morning routine, um, the grammar is thrown in there. We do four things in our in our st the start of our morning. Um, we take a long walk with the dog. So we get a little energy out and then we come back, we come to the table and we do poetry memorization and we do journaling. So we do one sentence a day. Like the, the I've got a book for her where she, it asks her a question and she answers it. And so what I've noticed is slowly they're getting longer, these sentences of hers. And partially it's due also to the grammar because after that she does fix it grammar and she's writing sentences there too. So she's learning that she can build on that. She can she can add to those ideas of her in her mind and write longer sentences. Then we come in the afternoon after lunch, then we do the well-trained mind grammar. And so it's almost treated as a completely different subject. Um, there's do your sentence in the morning and in the afternoon, there's a bit of a study to draw out. And the fact that your child has a pencil in their hand, really drawing the, I said drawing, I meant drawing, really drawing <laughs> that sentence in a picture is if you have a visual learner, that is a fantastic way to break those sentences down and get them to understand it um, in, in little piece by piece bits and really help them get going on their way. I didn't have that and it's kind of exciting to see if this is going to be something that Morgan sticks with and that she really enjoys. I will not push double grammar. I will not, I don't, I don't exactly, I'm, I'm not an advocate for, you know, cram, <laughs> cram in the grammar every morning and afternoon, but this is the way it is for us and this is how we are and it works just great. So I'd be interested in knowing how you feel about grammar and what you're doing. Um, oh, another thing that it does is spelling. We use both of these grammar uh, curriculum to hone our spelling as well. I have not implemented a spelling program and I think that might be kind of an unpopular opinion. I'd, I'd be interested in hearing what you have to say um, if you wanted to comment down below how you, if you're doing either of these, um, if you've done one or the other, in the, both in the past, which one you like better and why, um, why you've chosen one over the other. But for now, we like them so equally, I can't imagine choosing one over the other. I just think they're not so long that you have to choose one of the, over the other. So consider looking into both and neither are very expensive. Um, the well-trained mind pays attention to cost and um, this little book, Fix It Grammar, is not expensive either. So keeping in mind um, the affordability of it, um, it wouldn't be a bad thing to, to try out both, why not? You could also have multiple children and one might need one program more than the other or enjoy one program over the other and they'd get you to the same position and the same place at the end of the year anyway. Um, just a different path, same destination, right? So we'll see how that goes with us. And I hope everything in homeschool is going really well for you. See you later.